I am fed up with tyranny and cowardice and apathy and lies. I speak the truth in love, and your silence is deafening. I'm tired of you saying you stand for liberty, but you won't lift a little finger to step up to the plate. I'm tired of saying you want liberty and justice in life, and you will not stand for the life of the weakest. I'm fed up with people who call themselves liberty and people who call themselves Christian and people who call themselves righteous and who refuse to stand for righteousness. In recent weeks, we have seen the expose of abortion and Planned Parenthood, the most heinous genocide in human history, exposed. Those of us that were awake already knew it was happening. We were already speaking out, but now the world is seeing it. They're seeing murderers who tear apart children, who sell them for profit, who say that liberty is the right to kill the innocent. You have no liberty to kill the innocent. You see, I am pro-choice and I am pro-life. A woman should have every choice to decide whether or not she becomes pregnant. And no woman has the right to kill an innocent. That baby in the womb is not cells. It is not a clump. It is a child. And if you support liberty, you have every obligation to stand as much by that child as any child on the street being murdered as these children are by these butchers who call themselves doctors. If you say you are of liberty, if you say you stand for justice, you must stand for life. If you support abortion, you become the enemy of liberty. Now I will catch flack for this video and I don't care. I will not be silent in the face of this perversion. I will not be silent in the face of this tyranny and corruption and politicians and judges and doctors and deceived and lazy and cowardice that spreads across our land. It's time for you to stand. Now let's address the liberty issue, let's address the law issue, and let's address the solution very briefly. Let's debunk every single argument in favor of abortion. And it comes down to this. It's not an issue of choice. You don't have a choice to kill your neighbor. You don't have a choice to kill your child. It's not the woman's body, it's the child's body. I asked the little baby how she felt about her mother's right to kill her, but she had no voice. That's not liberty. Life, liberty, and property, and due process equally for all. That is liberty, my friends. Until we recognize, until we understand, until it is known that abortion is murder and it is ended, we will not have liberty. There's no excuse. There's no cop-out. There's no dancing around it. I dare you to go and look at the images, to watch these videos. I dare you to see what's really happening and then look me in the eye and tell me that's not a baby and that's not murder. You don't get to decide. And here is the crux. On the moral sense, you have no right to take the life of another. On the moral sense, you have no right to kill a child. And on the moral sense, you being the child's parent gives you no right. That is foolishness, that is lies, that is tyranny, and that is hatred of liberty. On the constitutional side, you have no right to abortion. You have no right to kill a child. This is liberty. You have the law. You have the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth amendments. Why does it debunk every argument against abortion? Because if that baby is a child indeed, then it is murder to kill it without any doubt, without any debate, to say otherwise would be to defy all reason. But here is the crux of the argument for those who say it's not a child or it's not self-sufficient. How dare you decide who is human? It's no different than the arguments that said the Native Americans or the blacks weren't humans and therefore it was okay to slaughter them. How dare you come and say that you support liberty 
and defy the very foundation of liberty that says all are created equal. And here's the crux on the constitutional sense that defies and tramples all the excuses for abortions. I'm not interested in your rhetoric. I'm not interested in the buzzwords and the lines. I'm interested in justice. I'm interested in life, liberty, for all. In natural law, in the Constitution, you have a fundamental right to those things. You must not have your blood forfeited, your life forfeited. This is the law in the Fifth and Sixth Amendments without due process. So therefore, for that child who cannot speak for itself, it is not the duty of that child to prove that it is human. If you would execute, if you would take that child's life, it is you who must prove that it is not human. And you cannot, and you will never prove that, because the more science we have and the more we see, the more obvious it becomes, even for the ignorant, to see that that is a human. So I don't care where you are in the world or in the nation, if you say you stand with liberty, you must support life. You must start supporting justice. You must start defending those who cannot defend themselves. You must start standing up. And now let me speak to my Christian brothers and sisters. You think I'm preaching now? Well, I'm just getting started. The church has failed to stand for liberty. You have failed to stand for life. And our nation is here because our pastors and our congregants and those who claim liberty and faith and honor and justice and love of their neighbor have failed. You have cowered in corners and you have refused to stand for righteousness. And now we are here. It is time to stand. It is time to step up and quit falling for the lies and the emotional foolishness and the rhetoric and start simply and truly standing for liberty and for justice. So I call on all Christians to rise up. We are going to have a day of prayer and fasting. In Matthew, Jesus says that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. He tells us that when we're gathered together in his name, he is there with us. Matthew 17 says that if we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, we will say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it will be removed and cast into the sea. Where is your faith, church? The church of the Lord Jesus is failing to stand. They are failing to be bold. They are failing to defend the weak and the fatherless, and we will be held to account for this. If we fail to stand and defend those who are delivered unto death, we will account to it before God, as it says in the Proverbs. And so I call for us all to gather, not just on this one day, but we will have a day, but to start gathering together, bind these lawless murderers, these judges, these politicians, and those who support and empower this perversion in our land. Those who pervert justice from one side of this beautiful nation to the other and from one side of this world to the other. Who pervert truth and who spread lies and call good evil. It's time for us to step up in faith and bind the wicked in the name of the Lord Jesus. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, some of you are saying this is radical and I'm not into this Jesus thing and I'm not into this God thing. Well, that's your choice. So on this day, if you don't believe in the fasting and the prayer and you don't want to stand that way, then stand some other way. Then stand boldly. Stop telling yourself that you're for liberty if you're not standing for the weakest and tiniest and most innocent of all human life. I will not be silent. I put myself on the line for liberty, and I will put myself on the line for those children, and it's time for you to start doing the same. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So I won't go out in vengeance, but I will stand, and I will look to God, and I will say, judge these wicked, bring them to their knees in repentance, or bring them down to the dust. No longer must we stand silent, no longer can we stand silent if we want liberty. If we would have liberty for our children, we cannot tolerate the slaughter of our children in the name of choice, because it's not a choice, it's a child. So the only question remains is, will you stand? Will you support liberty or will you become its enemy?
My name is Gavin Simon. and I will stand and I will not be silent and I will appeal to heaven and I will speak out. And I will try to have faith as that grain of mustard seed. Because it's time to destroy abortion. It's time to stop the perversion. It's time to repent. And it's time to return to liberty.